Cassie, she is suing P. Diddy or Pump Daddy for the sum of 30 million US dollars for the wrongdoings P. Diddy committed against her during the period of which they dated between 2012 to 2018. Cassie, according to her, she was subjected, oppressed, and meant to do the things she never thought she would do in her life. Puff Daddy oppressed her, subjected her, made her a slave while she was with Puff Daddy, and a lot of other crazy stuff Cassie exposed about P. Diddy. This is not the first time someone is accusing P. Diddy. Let us get that straight. And this is not the first time. A lot of other male rappers are accusing PDD of being a gay, of doing some nasty, crazy stuff. This is not the first time. This is not the first time. And again, judging by the recent trend, seeing some women accusing some young kings out there, firstly, it's really, really hard to believe Cassie. And also, Cassie is so calm, so reserved, so loyal, not to believe. You know, it's contradicting. I don't honestly know what to believe or not to believe. But I think I might go with Cassie on this one because of so many numerous allegations against PDD over the years. And it makes me even worry about our own musicians who are closely associated with him, like Border Boy. You know, I'm worried about Bonner Boy because 50 Cent has accused P. Diddy of being a gay. A lot of other musicians have accused P. Diddy of being a gay. Usher was somehow rumored to be P. Diddy lover. And so many other rappers have accused P. Diddy of uh, organizing uh, a gay party and also crazy stuff. P. Diddy is super rich and super influential. So Cassie have a huge war to play, like a huge, huge war to go to, and she should be ready. She, she better should have evidence, and some of the evidence are already coming out, like some testimonies over the years about PDD. They are really, really crazy, and I do not think PDD might escape this. And again, it was recently established that PDD has been a person of interest to the FBI and to the NYPD. So they have been secretly investigating him over some numerous allegations, including a Rico case. <laughs> so guys, uh, firstly, before I dive into the whole matter, let me know exactly who you are going to support here. Is it Cassie or is it PDD. PDD is well known, influential, very, very outspoken, motivational sp uh, speech of, of uh, all the black excellence and so many other motivational things, hyping of people. He has also assisted a lot of persons. You understand? According to Cassie lawsuit, I'm going to mute some of the words. Her name is uh, Ventura. So, Miss Ventura in her own home after she tried to leave. PDD. Oh, God. I don't know how I'm going to like a censor this world because of YouTube rules and revelation. So, PDD dashed Cassie in her own home after she tried to leave him. PDD off to punch, beat kick and stomp on Cassie, resulting in bruises, bust lips, black eye and bleeding. PDD blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in Cassie. PDD forced Mrs. Cassie to engage in sex acts with male sex workers while he was busy touching himself and filming, filming the encounter. PDD ran out of his apartment with a firearm in pursuit of a rival industrial executive whom he learned was nearby. P. 
repeatedly demanded that Mrs. Uh, Ventura, that's her name, to carry his firearm in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is. PDD introduced Cassie to a lifestyle of executive, uh, excessive uh, alcohol and substance abuse and required her to procure illicit prescription to satisfy his own addiction. These are some of the lawsuits. Those are some of the allegations. So if you check the second paragraph, uh, the third paragraph, the third uh, accusation, PDD blew up a man's car after he learned that he was romantically interested in Cassie. Well, someone had backed up that story and the person is uh, this rapper he backed up the story. He said it was the one that was romantically wanted to date Cassie and PDD threatened to blow up his car. So that alone, that there's, uh, there, there's evidence. So if that guy can testify in court, so that one is already secured. Then when it comes to suppression or on, on oppression on other allegations, I want to show you a rapper who shared a testimony a few years ago about his encounter with Didi and Cassie and his young jock. Listen, guys. You remember uh, 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 Scarface when, when that, that, that white woman was coming down the escalator? Yeah. He was in that man's house and he saw that man's wife and was like this. I was watching Puff. The nigga Puff was looking all down. He saw this, this, this white woman. It was bottles on bottles on bottles around her. It was lit. Puff jumped out. Me and Cassie sitting next to each other. My wife right here, Cassie right here. The nigga jumped off the bar, came over and said, Yo, yo, Cassie, tomorrow. I want you to shave the side of your head. And I was like, I'm like, what the fuck kind of request is that? <laughs> like, so when I'm like, what the fuck? So when I look up there, this white woman side of her head was shaved, my nigga. And the bitch looked good with it. So I was looking at Cassie, I was like, well, I, I was like, you're not about to do that, are you? She said, well, I mean, whatever Sean want. So, I think because of all those testimonies and also uh, the testimonies from uh, other rappers who are accusing Didi of being gay, having some uh, kind of like approaching other musicians to have this uh, entanglement with them, like 50 Cent, countless occasions have accused PDD of having such thoughts towards him. <laughs> you know, 50 is very, very much uh, outspoken. So it's not afraid of no one. So guys, let me know exactly how you feel about these whole allegations. PDD is rich. Then when you talk about the money, 30 million US dollars, Cassie, uh, uh, Cassie is asking. I kind of like, it's kind of like, okay, it's mind blowing. And uh, it's kind of like uh, 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 shift the whole narration. Kind of like shift the whole narration, really? You're asking for that kind of money? Do you need money? Or what? So for me, I think PDD is guilty. Yeah. yeah what he's been accused of, he actually did it. And I think he's going to try to do damage control by immediately seeking to seeking to have a one on one uh one on one interaction with Cassie and they can strike out a deal. They can strike a deal of the sum of a 10 million US dollars or 15 million US dollars hmm? in order for this not to escalate because it just takes one woman to start speaking then others will start talking as well. Before you know it, some people who even lie against uh, PDD will start coming out and before you know it, it's trapped. And is going to jail for the next 50 years, 100 years. Who, who, who knows? Arrow Kelly is currently there, and the Combs is currently there. Uh, Bill is uh, 
currently there and so many other uh, entertainers are currently in jail over such things so i think if i am Didi and i know in my heart i'm guilty i will quickly do damage control and my damage control is trying to get cassie to sit down one on one and be like you know what girl what the hell do you want from me we were in a relationship and you enjoyed every bit of it you were enjoying the money that's the reason why you stayed right well, yeah, that's the reason why I think Cassie stay. You know why? I feel that's the reason Cassie stay. Cassie enjoyed the money to the point that she even forgot she was a musician. Cassie was signed to 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 Bad Boy Record, owned by PDD. Yes, as at 2011. Then PDD started dating her. Boom, everything changed. She forgot she was a musician. She would drop some few music and was following PDD all around. She wanted to be the next Beyonce. She wanted to be the next Beyonce to Jay Z, but she 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 didn't know that uh, PDD was uh, something wild. So I think she also she's not innocent. She enjoyed every little bit of it. She was having an entanglement with other sex workers. Male sex worker, why PDD with the female? Man, let us, let us, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. She's not that innocent. She is not a victim here. But I think she deserves some little money because she cannot be with that man for years and not uh, do a lot of stuff with him and not get paid. You know, I think she deserves a little money. So PDD should quickly do the damage control. Uh, honestly, she quickly do the damage control because Cassie, to me, she's not innocent as well. But I'm worried for Bonner Boy though. Bonner Boy is close to PD. I always say, did you know they taught you there? Let us know now if you need help so that we can come to your rescue. Let us know.